This is Stock Gamer 007 here. And before we get started the VG Bulletin, the links to all news articles and timestamps is going to be in the description below. And let's get started. Let's move on to Metro News. Nin Nintendo Metro fans, you should be happy to hear that the series producer, Yashudo Sakamoto, still wants to work on the series going forward. In this month's issue of Game Informer, Sakamoto said that he would love to make another 2D Metroid as long as the opportunity presents itself and the fans show interest. Parts of this scene based on the Samus return reputation and the amount of people purchasing the game. Sakamoto said, quote, throughout the development of Metroid Samus Return, I was able to really grasp the possibility and fun of 2D Metroid. Like when I finished the game first, if there is another opportunity to make another Metroid, that is something I would love to do. Of course, that depends on how much people really want to buy a 2D Metroid. I would love a completely new 2D Metroid, like not a remake, but a completely new 2D Metroid. I, I state this before that I am more a 2D Metroid fan than a Prime fan because I didn't grow up with Prime. I grew up with Game Boy Advance and and Metroid uh, Fusion. I love, I love Metroid Fusion. I love the 2D Metroid games, um, but I love the 2D games a lot. That's why I'm going to buy this Metroid game, so we can get another 2D Metroid game in the future. And I hope that this 2D Metroid game that they make in the future will also come to the Nintendo Switch. So let's move on to Pokemon news. On Friday, the Pokemon Company released a new Pokemon trailer of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. The new trailer showcased various of new aspects of the game including more areas of the map and overworld footage. It has also confirmed that there will be new Z moves for specific Pokemon. This trailer, this, this trailer even hints that Pokemon could follow you like Heart Gold and Soul Silver was and maybe Yellow for Pikachu. Um, also, the Pokemon World Championship opening ceremony, it was revealed that Kirimoto, a Pokemon, will have a unique Z-move which damaged both opponents and an Omeni, Omeni bruising Z-move called the Clanarius Soul Blaze. I probably messed that up, pronounced that wrong. Um, it's going to be on the screen right now. In addition to this, Game Informer has been allowed to exclusively reveal a new mode in the game, the Alola Photo Club mode which you can take photos of your Pokemon of various poses, including Z-Move poses, and then edit them with decorations, lens, and more. The Lola Photo Club looks okay. In my opinion, it looks okay. Because I play Pokemon for like two years. Gotta catch them all. And Shiny Pinting. That's all I do with Pokemon. I play for the story as well, but... Uh, but I love catching Pokemon. I love going through all the routes, catching every available Pokemon, shiny hunting, all of that stuff. Well, the more Z moves, the better. That too. Um, but I am not really interested in Z moves. I hate Z moves. Um, a lot of modern Pokemon fans think Z moves is the holy grace of the Pokemon series. But in my opinion, Z moves are broken. They really are broken. If you could do Mega Evolution, and Z moves in the same match, it's broken. Completely broken. So I, I don't care. I don't care about Z moves. I also, I also want to know how Pokemon following you is going to work on the old 3DS if this is a if this is real. Um, they hinted it, but it's not 100 percent confirmed. I would love to know um, how it's gonna work because in the original Sun and Moon, it lacked a lot on the old original 3DS, and I want to know how how the developers is going to prevent these lags when Pokemon is following you. Um, but we, all we can do is wait and see until the release of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Maybe Pokemon Follow You is like an exclusive to the new 3DS um, to fix the frame rate, but that wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be equality. It wouldn't be equal. 
in my opinion to be that. So let's move on to the VG Bullets and Mini. We got three bullets to shoot through and let's get started. During the Pokémon Tournament World Championships, it was announced that a demo is planned for Pokémon Tournament DX. The tweet is shown on screen right now. Let's move on to Nintendo Switch news. All sorts of retailers have been suggesting that Batman, the enemy within, or what I call the Batman Telltale series season 2, is coming to the Nintendo Switch. Gamefly, GameSpot, and Amazon is showed that is we coming to the Nintendo Switch. I have one comment that I'm gonna say. Um, I love Batman um, Telltale series. I've follow this but I already started this on PC technically and I wouldn't want to do the whole episode again just to play it on Nintendo Switch so I'm not gonna buy this on a Switch I will mean, just continue to play it on PC it's a little bit too late for it. Let's move on to the last mini bulletin of today. The city of Final Fantasy NT comes to North America on January 30th 2018. Special Editions and Season Pass are detailed. If you want the full, the full information about the Special Editions and the Season Pass, it's going to be in the description below. Wow, we're done with the, the, the Fiji Bulletin Mini. Let's move on to the last news article today. The next Splatfest for Splatoon 2 has been announced. In the second competition, players have asked to choose between flight and invisibility. This Splatfest will be taking place in both North America and Europe. No details if this uh, Splatfest will be taking place in Japan as well. Um, we, is, we have no details on that. And the next Splatfest will run between September 1st and September 2nd. The next Splatfest, man, is going to be interesting. I hear a lot of people who's going to be choosing Blight, and I know obviously that's going to be the popular opinion, but come on, I hate, I'm a guy that hate planes, um, sorry, but I hate planes, um, so naturally I'm going to choose Visibility, uh, because obviously, uh, why would I choose Flight, I don't care about popular opinion, uh, popular opinion, because look at that, look, look at what happened to them to mayo versus ketchup like mayo won and because a lot of people fought ketchup like it doesn't matter i was not gonna just flight um i hate planes i hate flies and anything that now i don't hate anything that's flying but i wouldn't want to fly i don't like the air that much like up in the sky so visibility is my choice um but i am going to destroy any flight player in this black fest so bring it on, man. Bring it on. It's called War for Our Opinions. So yes, it's about time to end my video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I would love if you could subscribe to help expand my channel and share the video if you think you could inform someone else and comment below about your opinions about these news articles. This is Top Gear 7 and I see you in the next one. Peace.